Chrissy Terrio with Unique. I'm going to show you the amazing coverage that our concealer and pressed powder offer, offer together. The pressed powder is my favorite. That's my go-to for my face. So I don't have any tattoos to cover like a lot of people use, but I do have a pretty nasty bruise right now. So let's take a look at it. This is actually from my dog jumping up on me in the yard. So let's see. I'm going to put a little dab of concealer. Um, and this is going to be a little light for my skin. This is velour. And, well, on my face I use satin. And this is my leg. So I'm actually not quite sure what color it would be. So just a little dab. And you can actually use a blending bud for this too. I'm just going to use my finger. Dab it on. The blending bud would actually give you better coverage. And that's it. And you get a nice matte finish. Let's see. In person, I don't see the blue shining through, but I do see it on the camera. So I'm going to do go a little bit more. There you go. Okay. Rub out the outsides of it. Then I'm just going to take my pressed powder. Kitty's watching. Take my pressed powder with the powder puff brush. And where was it? Right here. And there you go. You have a perfect matte finish. I'm her daughter. Say hi. Hello, I'm her daughter. So, there it is. You can't even tell there was a bruise there. So, I'm going to take a makeup wipe. This also shows you how well, if you notice the makeup, it didn't just like come right off. Our makeup stays on really, really well. So, there it is. Let me know if you have any questions. That was, I used the Velour Concealer with the chiffon pressed powder with the powder puff brush.